Hello guys, welcome back to tutorial Zaman Inform for beginner. So today we are going to proceed on the next stage of our development on mobile apps. So let's see our progress from the last video. So basically we have a list view of the nearby store, and then what we want what we wanted to do next is click the list view, the item of the list view, and go to the map page that pin the location. So let's do that. Okay, first before we get started, we need to install a NuGet packages. So right click on the solution, go to manage NuGet packages, and browse the Zamarin form map. And you see the second option here. Click, tick all the option, and install the latest stable version. Don't forget to click I accept. So let's see, we have an error down here. Did the package upgrade Zamarin form? Alright, before that, we need to update our Zamarin. So we want to update all the package. And then after you update, browse again and install the latest stable version. Okay, before we can use this map, this control map, we need to initialize on the apps. Or not, not here actually on the Android and iOS for now. I'm just going to do on Android first. So go to main activity and then what we want to do is open the official documentation of Microsoft. So as you can see, map initialization and configuration. So we need to copy this line of code. And then go to this one, iOS. Uh, we go to app delegate. Before Zamarin form init, we need to initialize Zamarin form format. Same goes to main activity on Android. So we copy this line of code and then invoke after Zamarin form. So go back to Visual Studio after Zamarin form, which is down here. I think same goes to App Delegate. We need to invoke after the Zamarin form. Alright, this should work. And then what next is we need to go to our Android manifest and what we are going to do is we are going to need this one copy this one and then paste, paste it here and then we might need a so we are not going to use the copy here we are going to right click on Android properties and then go to Android manifest down here make sure to stick on find location uh, maybe take all the location and So, Ctrl S to save. So, when we see the Android manifest, it's automatically at the user permission here. And then, uh, we can already use the Zamarin form. Uh, let, uh, but first, let's create another page. New item. Content page. Make sure you select the XAML part. Change to map page. 
click add and then after that I will remove the stack uh, the label control and then go back to the Microsoft documentation and see map control here and this is how you use the map control which is what I'm going to do is copy this one paste it here and then hover it on the map and bring this one oops actually we wanted to bring another one uh, this one is not the one that we want actually so we want this one all right so go back to the home page and then on the what we are going to do next is we are going to select the collection view and how we can achieve that is really pretty simple we just type single oops a selection mode selection mode to single and then selection change give a new event handler you can write your own or just simply just simply enter and then you go to code behind and you can see here it generate automatically your function so next is we are going to get the value of the the value from the collection view so uh, the value that we wanted is actually place model so place model we create a variable to store the, the value so place model my value you can name whatever you want and then you can see here the selection change event arc actually passing a parameter which is the value of the current selection so e dot we go current selection dot uh, we use first or default and then you see we got an error here it's because we need to cast as place model so basically what we do is actually telling that this value is actually the place model and then next is we wanted to pass this the value to our map page but first let's go to the map page code behind and then on here we wanted to have a parameter before that we are going to declare here this model name as my my value bring the namespace I'm going to create a new this model here oops all right and then what we are going to do is actually copy and then change the name to value or maybe place and then after that we wanted to tell that my value is same value as place and then let's let's put a breakpoint here or maybe put a breakpoint over here and then let's play our Xamarin form let's take a look at code behind our home page so you can have a good view here so basically what we are doing right now is actually when we click on the list view it will go it will go nowhere because we doesn't actually telling our apps to go to the other page so before we can proceed this app dot current dot main page dot navigation dot push async and then oops 
push missing uh, our page which is map page new map page and then don't forget to pass the perimeter here and then you are good to go so we play our apps we deploy to our emulator and then as soon as I click the collection view we have it automatically navigate to map page uh, and we already put the uh, breakpoint on map page so I click here and then it will stop here and we can see when we hover here we can see we already have all the value so this is how so all this value we can use on this page so let's so without further ado let's show some map all right we already showing the map here so let's try play again so when I click wait our emulator to boot up so when I click nasi lemak best so you can see we have our map here okay guys the reason why we cannot preview our map is it because we need our API key here so this one you can get from Google Google Cloud, Google Map API. Uh, you need to register, and when you done register, you will be given, uh, I think, three hundred for free for you to spend there. So, yeah, register Google Plus, uh, Google Cloud, and then I'm going to show you how you can, uh, how can, how can you get those key. On the next video so yeah see you on the next video